these five Pokemon Game Boy Advance games I bought off eBay. And so I'm playing um, the Leaf Green one. And oh, that's really bad. Focusing. I'm playing the the Pokemon uh Leaf Green version. And on my on my DS Lite. This guy seems and dumb. I have Pokemon Soul Silver in. I actually have the game. And Who would buy a Pokemon, Pokemon game that looks like that? That looks like a piece of shit. Pal Park and says I don't. Have it came out of someone's card. ass. So I go back on to my Leaf Green. Literally. And it pops up and says this save file has been deleted. Good for you. You did this serve it for buying a such a retarded fake thing. That your Pokemon game is fake. Um, uh, um, all of these games look at the freaking label. That, it's not if that you hard. on this version, <coughs> some things to look for. This is how you just choked on your own cum. Shouldn't even be on there. Um, let's see if you can see from the back. But no, you can't you see, see anything in the back. Right Who cares? It's the battery. Fake. That's actually the internal battery, which is not shown on the real cartridge. If you look inside, you can see it says Nintendo. Oh my God! And I you know what's so funny about this video real, is he never actually plays the damn game. Pokemon Leaf Green version. You'll see in the little thing down below. He not. actually never plays the game. The there is, however, the one video where there is one who actually plays the game. I want to show you that one, too. So, I'm going to pause the video and I'll show you the one that actually plays it. It's actually kind of funny. I like that video better. This guy. Okay, here's another pretty interesting fake video game video. They actually look pretty damn legit, especially that Sony PlayStation. The 64 looks pretty legit. Some of these actually do work, surprisingly. Especially the Game Boy ones. Like the DS one, they actually have a Hong Kong DS that works perfectly fine. It's just, it's a little bit rough around the edges. I actually find these kind of interesting to watch, even though, you know, they're just fake games. Who would buy a Mario Kart that looks like that? See, it's, he's, he's probably playing a fake the game, game right now. The Game Boy Advance is a wonderful little system. Unfortunately, during the height of its popularity, a lot of pirated copies of games were produced for it. With the help of internet shopping sites, these games have found their way all around the world and into the hands of unsuspecting buyers. Today I'm going to show how to tell the fake cartridges apart from the real ones. Let me start by showing two Super Mario Advance 4 cartridges. One is real, one is fake. Hmm. That one, a simple way to spot the fake uh, is to know that one right the there correct label is totally like. real. It's really easy to know. I mean, this one just looks totally You probably don't have every piece of label artwork memorized, mm, though. I could, I could easily tell you that. So luckily, there are that. numerous other ways to spot fakes. That doesn't you even look like You can start by looking at the fine print on the cartridge. Spelling errors are a dead giveaway. It's a little hard to see, but on this one, instead of saying licensed by Nintendo, it says lick fenced by Nintendo. Lick fenced. The majority of the fake Game Boy Advance games out there have this error, so it should be one of the first things to check for, other than the incorrect label art. Another thing wrong with the lick fence error is the fact that Mario Advance is a first-party Nintendo game, so it makes no sense for them to license it to themselves. The real game simply has the Nintendo logo sitting by itself. Another misspelling on this cartridge can be found on the back. Instead of Nintendo, it says Nintendo. The I is mistakenly capitalized as well. This error is not as common as the lick fence one. On the back of this fake WarioWare game, Nintendo is spelled correctly. The fake Mario Advance game also has the wrong model number on the back and the wrong product code on the front, but those kinds of things are impossible to catch. The term made in Japan is missing from the back as well. It probably wasn't made in Japan anyway. Hmm. If you tilt an authentic game toward a light, you should see a number pressed into the label. 
If the game doesn't have it, then it's most likely a fake. Uh, remember, guys, check your video you games. You never board. know, they could be fake. Authentic games dun, will dun, say dun. Nintendo on the circuit board, and other uh. games will not. Sometimes a fake can be found just by playing the game. I love Since playing them. games use well, cheap, substandard backup one, systems, but you know, many have lost their ability to save games properly over the years. Look for messages that pretend to save data, such as this one I get when I turn on Super Mario Advance 4. The Game Boy Advance games that are pirated the most are the best-selling games, so pay most attention to the Pokemon and Mario games. Some of the lesser-known titles are probably not going to be pirated. I would go into other things to look out for, such as the Game Boy Advance logo being slightly altered, but I think I've given you enough things to look for. If you step into a gaming store, you should now be prepared enough to avoid the fix. But what about shopping online, where it's much harder to see what you're buying? I got some advice on that as well. Never buy from someone who doesn't have a picture of the actual item. That includes people who use stock photos. It's just too risky. For each game you're interested in, know what the correct label art should look like, as I mentioned before. Just do some internet research. You should be able to spot the fakes right away. For example, here's me doing a search on eBay for Mario Advance 4. I instantly see a fake one for sale. It even has the lick fence error. Here's another fake I found. Unfortunately, people are bidding on the game. When buying a large lot of games, be aware that the seller may not know that they have a few fake games mixed into their collection. You may want to ask them to send you a high resolution picture so you can zoom in on each individual game in the photo. When searching these kinds of sites, Filter out regions of the world with loose pirating laws. Or just filter out all the international sellers. Most likely there are plenty of legit Game Boy Advance games to go around within your own country. As a last defense, look for sellers who have good return policies, just in case you miss all the signs of a fake game. That about covers it. The Game Boy Advance is a nifty little system with some great games. Unfortunately, these games were easy to replicate, but by knowing what to look out for, you can keep it real. See you next time. That must be him playing the fake, or maybe not. I don't know. Actually, that looks like the real one. These all look like the real ones. But anyways. I'm going to pause the video and probably stop recording. And then, like, record two more videos of these fake video games. And well, especially the DS system, because that one was just funny. And, and then I'll be done with this documentary of fake video games.